In this example, I need to solve the following equation, A for all degree solutions, and B on the interval 0 to 360 degrees. Here's my equation, the sine of 2x equals negative a half. Well, what type of equation is it? It is a simple linear trigonometric equation, but notice the argument is not plain old x, it's 2x. Since the sine of 2x is negative a half, that means I'm looking for points here on my unit circle whose y coordinate is negative a half. That means that they have to be below the x-axis. So going around, here's one angle where the sine is equal to negative a half, the y-coordinate's negative a half, and the other one is over here. So the argument of my trig function 2x is going to either equal 210 degrees or it also can equal 330 degrees. Now don't forget in part A, I'm trying to find all degree solutions. Now be careful, some students divide by two before they try and find all solutions. It's very important, you need to find all coterminal angles for 210 before you divide by two. So to get all coterminal angles for 210, I'm just going to add 360 degrees times n, where n is an element of the integers. And I'm going to do the same here, is I'm going to add 360 degrees times n. Now I can find x, and I'm going to have to divide all three parts of this equation by 2. So I'm going to get x equals 210 divided by 2 is 105 degrees plus 360 divided by 2 is 180 degrees times n. So there is part of my solution for part a and the other part I'm going to divide this equation all three parts by 2. So I'm going to get x equals 330 divided by 2 is 165 degrees plus 180n. So there are all the degree solutions to this equation here. Notice if you'd have divided by 2 and then found coterminal angles, you'd have a 360 here instead of the 180. So that is the answer to we've now found part A. So now we need to go on and find part B, which is solutions in the interval 0 to 360. So what I have to do is take both of these equations and I'm going to plug in n equals 0 to start with. And when I plug n equals 0 in there, I'm going to get x equals 105 degrees plus 180 times 0. So that's just 105 degrees. And from this one, x equals 165 degrees because 180 times 0 is 0. So there are two of my solutions. But now I also have to plug in when n equals 1. So I'm going to get x equals 105 degrees plus 180 degrees times 1, which is just 180. So I'm going to have 105 degrees plus 180 degrees, which is 285 degrees. Next, I have to plug in n equals 1 to this equation. So I'm going to get x equals 165 degrees plus, I'm running out of room, sorry about that, 180 degrees when n is 1 times 1. 
So x equals 165 degrees plus 180 degrees is 345 degrees. Have I found all the solutions? Well, just to check, if you plug in n equals 2 to either of these equations, let's take, take the first one, I get x equals 105 degrees plus 180 degrees times 2. That's going to be 360, so this answer is going to be bigger than my 360 degrees. So this equation has one, two, three, four solutions in the interval zero to 360 degrees.